my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. It's kind of a gold cut crease look. And if you have not subscribed already, I will put the link right here or down below in the description bar. There's a red button that says subscribe. It's free and you'll get notified whenever I put out a new video. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have already done this eye except for lashes. So this eye I have primed and I put a piece of tape there so there's a nice clean line. So to start off I'm taking the shade whoop, down here, Raw Sienna out of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and taking a fluffy blending brush I'm just going to apply that into the crease. Then taking a smaller blending brush, this is a MAC 217 and I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre. And I'm going to apply that into my crease as well, but just not as high. We want a little bit of this color to still peek through. So that's why I'm using a smaller brush. And I'm kind of like fading it out a little bit as I go more inward, making it more um, heavy on the outer part of the eye. And it is pouring now, so if you hear that, that is what it is. And if you get a little higher than you want where you can't really see that raw sand anymore, I'm just taking a smaller fluffy brush and just lightly going along the edge so it's just peeking through again. Then I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber and an angled brush. This one, what is this? Alexi 215. And then I'm just going to run that along my crease to kind of cut it a little bit. It doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to go in with a lid color later and clean it up. Then taking a pencil brush and nothing on it yet, I'm just going to kind of blend that on the inner part so it doesn't get up too high and then I'll pick up some more of that color kind of tap off the excess and just start working it upward and this is where that tape will come in handy just make sure it's pressed down firmly and it'll get you that nice sharp line without having to be super precise about it. Then I'm going back in with a smaller blending brush and a little bit of that red ochre and I'm just going to use that to blend that darker color out a little bit and bring a little bit of the red back because it kind of gets covered up sometimes. And you can even go back with that first color and do the same thing. I'm using the same brush, I just made sure to wipe it off so we don't have the red on it. So as you can see, it's a very like gradient effect. Like that, and you can just kind of go back and forth and tweak it to how you want. And taking a flat synthetic brush, I'm just going to wet it with some Fix Plus. And I am taking the... Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use this shade right here the gold highlight shade and I'm going to press that all over my lid and use it to cut my crease a little more Then taking a smaller blending brush, I'm just going to very lightly run that along the edge. You want it to be kind of a sharp line, but not quite as sharp as it just was. So just very gently run along the edge. To highlight my brow bone, I'm taking this first cream shade in the palette. And I've already filled in my brows as well. And just softly with that first big fluffy brush, just kind of run across the edge. 
And then I'm going to remove the tape. You should have a nice clean line just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner off camera, but I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner. Okay, so I did my wing liner and I applied some lashes and these are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. And then I lined my upper and lower waterline with this pencil from ColourPop and it is in the shade Swerve. It's just a black one. So I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye concealer just so I can finish off the eyes. And I'm using the NYX HD concealers in the shade 04 and 10, which is a yellow. Then to set that, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. Then taking a short shader brush in the shade Raw Sienna, I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. But I'm not going to take it all the way in, just about right there. And then doing the same thing with Red Ochre. And then I'm going to take Cypress Umber on a flat definer brush and just press that up against the base of my lashes, but I'm not going to take that one in as far. I'm just going to keep it on the very outer part of the eye. And then go back in and blend it out a little bit. Then taking a little brush like this, this is the Morphe E36. I'm going to wet it with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to take the shade Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. Kind of bring it down on the empty space that we left on the lower lash line. Kind of bring it up onto the lid a little bit to blend towards that other gold shade. Going back in with the black gel liner, and this is a Sigma E05. It's a really small brush like that. And I'm just going to bring it in on my inner corner to a point so that it looks like this. Then I'm just going to add some mascara to my lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Okay, moving on to the face. I know I already did like my concealer and under eye powder and stuff, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and prime anyways, and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I really should have done my primer before my concealer, but I'm not used to doing my concealer before my foundation. So if you do it this way, make sure that you prime before you do your under eye concealer. And I'm also going to use the Benefit Professional, just a little bit right here on my cheeks where I have larger pores. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and this is in the shade 205 Natural Beige. And then taking the same concealer in the shade of 04, I'm just going to highlight the center of my face. And then before I set the foundation concealer, I'm going to do some cream contouring, and this is the Clinique 
Beyond Perfecting Foundation. It's a sample and it's way too dark. It is the shade Cream Caramel. So I'm just going to use this for a little bit of cream contour. Just make sure when you're blending this that you're blending it upward so you're creating that shadow instead of down. And then blend this back towards the hairline. And then I'm going to set everything with that same no color powder from RCMA. Then to bronze up the face, I'm going to use the center shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then I'll use the cooler tone shade to contour with. And then I'm mixing the yellow and peach colors to apply under my eyes just to brighten it up a bit. And then while I have it out, I'll just take that lighter shade and kind of dust it underneath my contour. I'm also going to kind of run it over my nose just because that cream contour is a little bit dark. For blush, I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Amaretto from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I'm going to wet my brush with some Fix Plus, and I'm using the Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop from that same palette. Then for lips, I'm going to line them with this sad baby nub liner. I already have another one, and this is Naked from Urban Decay. And then for lipstick, I'm using Whirl from MAC. And then to set everything, I'm using this setting spray from Scandinavia. Okay, so that completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will link them down below or next to me up here if I can figure out how to do that. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!